Hey, shalom, yes, shalom, and the staff of souls by giving all praise to Yahweh, Shem Yahweh Shai, double honest, possible JMS, and honest, two brothers are doing the work in truth, or oh, sincerity. I just want to do this real quick one uh, with the brothers yesterday. I was watching that film, um, Enemy of the State, and uh, basically it's uh, something I've been observing how over and over in these films and all of these things that basically he was working that witchcraft on your mind, right? So, you know, in that film, you've got Will Smith basically being an absolute beta to, you know, the woman, the Regina King, his wife in the film, right? And you, you look at all aspects of television, of music and of media, right? And everything is just um, basically being a, a wimp, a beta, a simp. Man, it's one of the tactics that Esau uses to basically get into your mind. Apostles go into the meaning of Hollywood, right? Hollywood, you know, so witches, uh, you know, something would, uh, witches would use, right? So this is, you know, this is just, all, you know, it made me think um, you've got what was that, that Neo, what was that Neo or something? I don't want to know. Or Mario Winans, you know, I don't want to know if you're playing me. Keep it on the low. It's not what the head is that all about, right? You know, you had the blue control song. She's talking about, you know, uh, basically be a trickster on your man, right? You know, you, you know, spend his money, do this, do that. And like I said, these are just a couple of examples. It just shows you uh, the wickedness that Esau has. But this is a scripture, and that's the first Peter's five and eight. It says, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walks about. Seeking whom he may devour, right? So you you might just be you know listening or watching something, not really realizing you're being indoctrinated into Esau's philosophy, right? And if you ain't careful, you if you ain't privy to it, you know you might you know start behaving or start doing things the way Esau will be setting up to do, right? So you know you know just just pitfalls, you know you you might watch a film. Or something, whatever, not realize you've been indoctrinated and do something that's completely off, right? Which is why you know a lot of guys be, you know, they, they watch American Pie and then all they want to do is just have orgies and shit because that's what the media says is cool, right? So, this is, um, I'll get this as well, Psalm 64 and 2, because none of this is by coincidence, right? It says, Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked. From the insurrection of the workers of iniquity, right? Because Esau, right, and the Illuminati have basically, rather, Esau through the Illuminati have basically been pushing this witchcraft on the world, you know, basically devouring men's souls. You know, when you're a young child, you know, you're, you're, uh, you're the product of your parents, you know, there's many generations nowadays, the children are the product of their iPhone games or their iPad games, you know, or, or Peppa Pig or SpongeBob SquarePants or whatever bullshit that's on TV, right? But as you grow older, you know, you you get influences from the school, right? You get influences from TV and from movies and from films and from music, right? And you you know, which is why, you've, like I said, you've got a generation of simps because all Hollywood films, the men are just simping, right? Um, let's see, it says there's a precept here, uh, Job 5 and 14, it says, uh, they, yeah, Job 5 and 14, they meet with darkness and daytime and group and the noonday as in the night, All right, alright, so like I said, I just wanted to bring this out for you real quick, um, something that was just on my mind, those who have been edified, shadow one.